Hello, Wolf Trust here. I decided to talk to you guys today because this work is kind of personal, and I thought maybe some of you guys would relate to what I have to say about it. Most times I don't really know what I'm drawing until after I work through the scribbles. I think life is kind of that way too. We gotta get through the mess of things before we see the beauty in it. I've recently picked back up on a story I was writing when I was younger. At the time, I was going through a lot of things and I didn't feel very confident in myself, and I was very scared of people. I had my sisters and my foster families who I know they loved me very much, and I loved them as well, but at the time, in my young mind, I felt really alone. I isolated myself, and I told myself that the smallest of mistakes that I made would cast me aside. So I was scared to do anything. I tried not to show how sad and lonely I was because I was so scared of being rejected. I know now that was really silly and kind of stupid of me, but I can't change what I did in the past or how I felt, but I can learn from it and maybe it can help me relate to someone. I felt the most comfortable around dogs. I've always grown up with them, there's a lot of reasons why I really love them. But perhaps one of the things I like about them the most is that they don't seem to judge you like people do. Not everyone does that, of course, but I've had my fair share of being judged by people. I admit that I cry in front of people sometimes, even though I try not to. I regret to say that a lot of pent-up sadness and anger when I was younger became coldness, and it, that made it to where I seemed very unfriendly towards people. Sorry for that. <laughs> I didn't open up to very many people, but, you know, with dogs, I felt that I could. I could cry so easily in front of them or act like a big stupid idiot and it was so much fun because, you know what, I knew they didn't care. I knew they wouldn't. The girl in the picture with the pointy ears was based on a dog that I used to have named Amy. She would follow me everywhere and she was so adorable and sweet. When I got sad or lonely and, and when I started to cry, she would pat me over and over with her paws like pitter patter, trying to make me laugh, and it did. It made me laugh so much and she always made me so happy. And she'd get me to see the brighter side of things. Toby, the one with the floppy ears, he did something different and that was good. He would crawl into my lap and he'd just be there for me, silent and let me cry it out and let me pet him. He'd just stay by my side as if to say, you know what? It's okay to cry, it's okay to feel that way. They helped me through times when I couldn't really do it alone and I was too scared to tell the people I was close to that, hey, I need someone and to help me. I let that fear block me from all the people that loved me in my life. I say this all because, you know, if you're going through a time when you feel alone, know that you're not. If you have family or friends, seek them out when you need them. If you don't have either, find a pet because I can promise you, if you give your pet love, like show your pet love, they'll bring it back tenfold and they'll love you more than anyone has ever loved you before. And then even then, if you don't have anyone, find a book, grab a paper, stuffed animal, basketball, anything that makes you feel more than what you are and it gets, just puts you in a place where you feel that everything's going to be okay and that you're needed and that you can do anything. Believe me when I say though, that you are much more than what you think you are. You're amazing. I know this is going to sound weird to say, but I kind of wish people would treat each other as pets do. Or anyway, for an owner that loves them. I wish that people could be happy when they see each other, like that tail wagging kind of happy. Even if it's only been five minutes, you're still so excited to see that person because you love them so much and they love you so much as well. I wish that we would be able to forgive each other easier. We all make mistakes so much. I wish we could be there for each other when we need each other. And most of all, I wish that we could love each other no matter what, because everyone deserves to be loved. I drew this picture for my younger self, and perhaps maybe for you too, if you need that reminder that there is someone out there for you. Even if you've isolated yourself to the point that you feel that no one's there, just open your heart and your mind to find that there are people all around you. Just as you need to show a pet love to get love back, be willing to love others. Thank you for watching, and I hope you have a good day. Goodbye.